Ladies and gentlemen, we're back to Bushy Cory Girls Hostel. As you can see, they have planted grass, and that is a walkway that they are trying to recreate. But the whole place has grass now. The lower side has trees that have germinated afresh. Uh, yeah, but the, the other parts, they have tried to plant grass so that the girls can enjoy a nice green compound and maybe flowers. Uh, here is the building. Here is the building. As you can see, lots going on. Good afternoon from Uganda. Good afternoon from Bungoho. Good afternoon from Bushikori. That is the the, the this is good because this you can actually walk up uh, easily. You can also wheel. I've seen others that are very steep. I'm going to go up and then come back down. I like the rails and the guards that have been put to protect children from falling or flying off. Because it's a storage building and this is supposed to be a protective mechanism so that children are safe. Um, I love the ramp. I really love that ramp. Okay, so this is the end of the rails. The rails continue in. They're still making finishes. They're still making finishes. Windows are in. You can see this guy is doing some finishes here. I walk in through the first door of the upper floor. That's the hall. Looks nicely painted. Looks nicely complete. Um, I'm gonna find out when it's gonna be ready. I think it should be moving in during the second term. Everything done. <laughs> Excuse me. Please say bless you from your end. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, this is, um, they have just passed the matrons. Uh, they're still finishing the windows and the glasses. Uh, this is the second room of the first floor. I want to get out through that door. And here we go. So I'm walking to the toilet side and then I'll walk down the stairs. Just came up through the ramp. Uh, starting this video with a different phone. My phone just shut down. Apparently it's heating up. Sorry about that. Well, I had just gone through the two rooms and now I was walking to the toilet side. And if you would notice, you, would, you may have noticed there were some two guys doing measurements. They want to put tiles around this area because this is going to be a wash area for kids, wash uniforms, wash clothes. Those are bathrooms, they also need to be tiled. Um, those are toilets, they are complete for uh, three different stanzas. Nice scenery out here. The green, the green is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna turn you back slowly without hurting your eyes. And then I'm gonna walk out through here. Uh, again, they have put the rails to protect the painting is happening. I'm going down the stairs, going down the stairs, just walk down these stairs, 
uh, walking down the stairs and as you can see some guy is doing some painting here this is going to happen until it's complete uh, I'm gonna walk through here too this is the lower floor now this is the toilet uh, the bathroom sole and then the toilets the, the three stances the three stances of the toilets I'm gonna walk you back out from the la uh, latrines area or the wash area mushrooms area <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna walk uh, first door is locked with a padlock. I'm gonna go enter through the second door of the ground floor. So here we are. This is the second floor. I mean the first, the ground floor, or oh, the first room of the ground floor. And the lights have been put in. Oh my God. The lights have been put in. I don't know if it's switched on yet. Yes, yes, it lights. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so it's it's on. It's all painted white and beautiful. Nice structure here. Sick bay area for a little younger and sickly children. Matron's room. Um, then the second room, which I put in the door, which I put in first because it was locked, it's also done. Let me see if this bulb lights. I'm gonna go to the switch. Ah, beautiful. It's lighting. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's the second door that was locked. And that's the emergency door. I'm gonna walk out again and give you a 360 of the whole structure from a distance. Okay, um, I was saying I love the ramp. I love this ramp. Kids should be able to enter this place. I, should. I want to try this bulb and see if it works. It works. It works. This is amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna walk out and just try to capture the whole building from a distance. There we are. So I'm gonna do a 360. I'm going to do a 360. I'm using Samsung one in there as phone because my phone blacked out. Uh, here we go. Construction is complete. It's co getting complete. The two tanks to harvest the water and help the, the kids um, so the toilet side can receive all the water that is required for washing, bathing and for the toilets. Um, that is the amazing backside, the amazing backside of the structure is here, I'm just gonna walk, I can't go very far, the, I'm on the wall, on the fence side of the, nearer, it's nearer the build structure, so I can't go further than this, but, uh, I'm gonna show you the behind part. Well, the behind part is uh, pretty much uh, uh, like this. Looks like it needs a little bit more. Uh, I think these guys are trying to put windows up there. Glasses, not windows, glasses. But the bottom ones are complete. They're using the ladder to climb and put glasses. That's the emergency door, remember? They are using that ladder to climb and put glasses up there on the windows. I think they are remaining with two windows so far. That is the septic tank. Uh, 
it's huge. Yeah, for the number of children this structure is going to accommodate, it needs to be huge. Okay, so I'm gonna go backwards so you can see this structure further and further behind. can see this structure further and further behind. I hope this is clearer. I hope this is clearer. And now we are back to the front part of the structure. That's the front part of the structure. Thank you very much from Bushikori and from Bungoho and a lot of appreciation from the community and, and Bushikori, Bushikori at large. God bless you all and expound your boundaries. Greetings from everyone in Africa and from Uganda. Thank you so much.